All right. Weather's not going to help those situations either. It but is we're not. not blaming you. <laughs> I was actually going to talk about that but yeah. too, because we've had 70s this past week, a lot of sunshine, and now we're dealing with 20s, 30s, even teens in some areas across the Midwest. So everybody's coming inside, they're putting on the jackets again, and they're sneezing, they're coughing, and you know, it's, you know what happens after that. All right, let's talk about the scoot forecast. Away. No, I'm you come back. You come back. <laughs> All right, let's talk about your forecast, Northeast Ohio, as we are heading into the latter half of the weekend. Of course, we had some snow showers today in some parts, and we also had some rain moving through the area as well. Now we set the stage for a real bear hug of cold moving into the region. Mid to low 30s expected along the lakeshore and also inland areas overnight tonight. The feels like temperatures will likely be at or below freezing and likely for some going into the 30s. So that trough, that elongated or a broadened area of low pressure is sinking south across the, uh, the Midwest. So this is allowing for any sort of precipitation to fall, likely hit the ground and likely stick as well. So we're likely going to have some of those snow showers kind of hanging about on the grassy surfaces here. Mainly lake effect snow event happening across the Great Lakes region. You can see back there towards Michigan, even towards Wisconsin, getting down into Indiana, and of course here in the Buckeye State, even extending over towards the Keystone State in Pennsylvania. Coming in a little bit tidy, you can see where those snow showers are still hampering some of the areas along 90 over in Lake and also Geauga County. Maybe a little bit for Ashtabula, but again, not too terrible. Visibility also improving for us this evening. Of course, you can already imagine when you get these snow showers coming down, especially the lake effect bands, visibility can be hampered as well. Surface temperatures, mid 30s, Youngstown at 35 along with Ashtabula, Elyria 34 in Worcester, 36 now for Dover and also New Philly. You can see there are National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. We get our temperatures down to into the mid to low 30s near the freezing mark. That green changing over a little bit of pink and also changing over to some white. So that's when we start with the lake effect banding. That will continue not for everybody here in Northeast Ohio, but at least for most along and over towards the east. That's through about 5 p.m. for tomorrow afternoon, and then the dry air really starts to move back in. High pressure is returning for Monday, albeit though very short lived. We have another trough moving in by Tuesday heading in towards Wednesday, but all in all Sunday night heading in towards early Monday morning. More 20s popping up on the map, upper 20s, low 30s waking up on Monday morning. So it's going to be a cold one. Wind chill factor, okay? So this is what it feels like when the wind is hitting the exposed skin, feeling like the low 30s, feeling like the 20s for some, and even for our air friends over there in northwestern areas there, back towards Illinois and also Indiana, it feels like the teens for them. Now the bigger picture. We get rid of this system that's happening right now, this area of low pressure, that trough still extending south, even far south as in the southeastern states. Our next weather maker arriving Tuesday into Wednesday, an upper level trough extending down yet again. We're gathering moisture from the Ozarks moving in towards the Midwest. And then also with that cold front coming in, we could have a merry of system, but as of right now, it looks like it's gonna split. So we have a little dry air trending in as far as the model goes. But once we get that trough to really kind of pull away towards the north and east. We're powering on the lake again, so we're likely going to have some lake effect banding for Wednesday, Thursday, leading into the early portion of Friday for our friends over in the uh, snow belt region. Here's your Union Home Mortgage 10 day outlook. Temperature stuck into the 40s, low 30s, getting down to the low 20s early Saturday morning and then rising yet again. So we got to prepare ourselves for that.